Hi, this is Chris Reitz from Big Panda, and today we're going to be talking about getting started with correlation. In our previous training videos, we discussed how Big Panda ingests raw alert data and then normalizes and enriches it. Now let's discuss how Big Panda correlates these alerts into actionable incidents and why that matters. Correlation is a method of grouping related alerts into a single high level incident. After the monitoring alert data is collected, normalized, and enriched into key value pairs, which we call tags, Big Panda utilizes patterns of these tags to automatically recognize which alerts are likely related and then correlates them accordingly. Patterns are either suggested by the Openbox machine learning engine or created by administrators for optimal noise suppression tailored specifically to your organization. The benefits of using Big Panda alert correlation are improved detection, finding critical issues faster, faster remediation by seeing the full context of an incident rather than just a single data point, better productivity by reducing the number of tickets operators have to handle, and having more control over your environment by being able to customize how alerts are correlated to improve accuracy and efficiency. As a helpful reminder, alert key value pair tags in Big Panda consist of tags that come directly from the native monitoring tools, custom tags that have been defined within Big Panda, topological tags such as dependencies or physical virtual host relationships, and operational metadata where pieces of information from your CMDB or spreadsheets have been added to the alert to assist in providing more context for how to troubleshoot the incident. All of this is explained in depth in our Getting Started with Normalization and Enrichment video. Big Panda uses these alert tags to build correlation patterns. Let's jump into Big Panda now and see how correlation patterns are created and maintained from within the UI. First, we'll go to the My Settings menu and then select Correlation Patterns. We can now see all the correlation patterns that exist in this environment. And if we move over these correlation patterns, we can see we have an option to edit the pattern, duplicate the pattern, or delete the pattern. Let's go ahead and create a new pattern. We'll do that by clicking on the New Pattern button at the top. When we create a new correlation pattern, the first thing we're going to do is select which source systems or monitoring tools this correlation pattern will apply to. We can select one or more individual monitoring tools, or we can click on All Systems. Once we've selected our monitoring sources, we can choose whether or not Big Panda will correlate alerts across different source systems, meaning that alerts from one source can be correlated with alerts from other sources. Next, we're going to select the alert tags to include in this correlation pattern. This means that alerts that have the same exact value for this tag will be grouped if they occurred in the same time window, which we will shortly mention. In this case, we're going to create a new correlation pattern for the tag dependency, meaning that alerts from hosts that depend on the same device will be correlated. Now we choose a correlation time window of 35 minutes. We'll discuss how to choose this time window in a moment. We then have an option to fill in a query filter, which we'll hold off for now and discuss later on as well. At this point, we're ready to test our pattern and see the effects of it on our data. We can see our new pattern is compressing alerts by 80% in a subset of historical data from the last seven days that has been pulled by Big Panda by default. This time frame can be modified in the time window dropdown, where we can also select a custom date range to test our pattern on. If we choose to make changes to our pattern or the time window, we can always retest our correlation pattern and see how the behavior is affected by pressing the Regenerate button. Once our correlation pattern is behaving the way we would like it to, we can go ahead and click Create Pattern. If we'd like to save the pattern but not make it active yet, we can click on the Create as an Active checkbox. We can see that our new correlation pattern has been created and is now active. If at any time we wish to deactivate the pattern, we can do that by clicking on the toggle switch here. Now let's talk about setting the time window for correlation patterns. When setting time windows, it's helpful to look at this picture. Here, the y-axis represents granularity of the topology with the less granular level at the top. Generally speaking, the more granular your correlation patterns, the longer time window you can select. For example, a data center contains many different devices, 
so it's not very granular, and we should choose a shorter time window. A host is very specific, so we can use a longer time window here. Remember, it's always easy to test the effects of change in your time window, so there's no harm in trying different options. The last part of creating a correlation pattern is the optional query. The query filter and correlation operates the same way as it does on our custom tags. Let's choose to restrict this correlation pattern only to hosts that end in .com. We'll retest the pattern and see the effects of adding this query filter. The correlation pattern is now only correlating alerts where the host ends in .com. Now let's talk about Big Panda's Openbox Machine Learning. Openbox Machine Learning provides you with transparency, allowing you to directly view the output from the machine learning logic, testability, which allows pre-production testing with no hassle, and control, which provides for easy manipulation of the logic as needed. When we look at the list of correlation patterns, we will see a purple suggested tag anytime the open box machine learning has identified a new potential candidate pattern. When a new pattern is suggested, we can go into the correlation pattern editor where we have the opportunity to see the effects that this pattern will have on our alerts. We can modify these patterns or the time window if we desire. Once we have tested and are satisfied with the results, we can enable the pattern. Now this correlation pattern is a candidate for any new alerts that will come into the system. Now that you're familiar with the correlation on Big Panda, continue to the next videos to dive deeper into additional topics. We want you to be successful in your Big Panda journey, so if at any point you need help, please reach out to our support team via the in-app chat, and don't forget about our online documentation at docs.bigpanda.io. Thank you for watching.